So welcome back to another episode of Let's See How Much Jean Can't Read in 24 Hours. <laughs> um, I am hosting a 24 hour readathon starting in a few hours for the Myth Take Reads readathon, which is a month long readathon that's been running throughout June, I believe that's the month that we're in. <laughs> and every weekend a different guest host hosts a 24 hour readathon and this weekend is my turn. So uh, today it's the 19th of June and tomorrow it's the 20th of June. So um, I'm running this for the 24 hours um, from midnight tonight to midnight tomorrow. And I thought I would just sort of vlog the 24 hour readathon. I did a vlog uh, maybe like a month or so ago where I tried to see how much I could read in 24 hours. And I wanna see if I can like beat that. Like that was a starting point. That was an interesting experiment. And now it's time to see how much better I can do. So um, I'm gonna just quickly show you what I plan on reading during the readathon and um, then I will, when it actually begins, update you as I'm reading. So the book I'm currently reading, as in I've already started, is The Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter by Theodora Goss. And um, this is my Patreon book club read. We have been reading this throughout May and June and um, I'm going to be uploading a discussion video to Patreon come the beginning of July and so far I'm loving this. It's a historical novel set in the 1890s that blends together tons of like classic darker novels. So like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, uh, The Island of Dr. Moreau, um, Frankenstein I think, uh, Sherlock Holmes which isn't necessarily like a dark novel um, but all of those kind of like classics from that era into um, one space and so far yeah I'm really enjoying it I think it's really like well written and kind of comical and I'm kind of feeling like it might be quite a quick read so I'm going to power through some of that but I do also really want to get a start on Crier's War by Nina Varela which would actually fulfill one of the challenges for myth take reads there's lots of different strands for this readathon um, if you're not aware so you can kind of pick your own challenges but one of the ones for um, my uh, goals is to read a book with foil on the cover which this does and it's a fantasy novel and it's a queer female female fantasy novel that I've been so excited about so I would love if I could actually read all of this like in one day like I don't often read bigger books in the space of 24 hours and this is over 400 pages so that's kind of like my challenge to myself um I will be continuing on with this but I'm also going to read a little bit before midnight and have already started it however this I think will be my priority on the other hand though I also thought I would chuck in a smaller book in case I needed to break things up and I really want to get around to this manga which is the girl from the other side and um, this is the first volume and it's a sort of like dark kind of creepy manga I think and it's actually shorter than I was expecting it to be I ordered this recently and it just arrived yesterday so I thought it would just be nice to chuck something in that's like a little bit different, a little bit less dense because you know obviously a lot of it is pictures and um, might help me read a little bit more but also just because I am really excited about it and have been really enjoying my kind of creepy stories recently plus would like to read more manga. Like I used to read a lot of manga but haven't so much in the past few years but um, recently you'll remember during a vlog I read or reread the Cardcaptor Sakura manga and loved it and it's made me like kind of want to recapture the the joy of um, that format. So also let me know if you've got any recommendations for a manga I should check out. Um, but that's kind of what I'm planning on reading. If I could read all of these that would be absolutely like incredible. I don't know if that's possible but that's kind of my goal is to focus on these three. So like I said this is going to be a how much can I read in 24 hours and therefore I will come back to you when that 24 hours technically begins. So I'm in my bed it is half an hour till the readathon officially begins um so until then I'm just gonna like watch a little bit of booktube catch up on my subscription box. I've just started watching Sincerely Tahiri's uh, version of the mid-year book freakout tag and I honestly hadn't planned on filming this video myself but now that I'm watching everyone do it, it's making me want to answer it. So I don't know. Let me know whether you think I should also film this tag video. But yeah, I'm going to watch that. Might have time for like one other booktube video. And then I'll be able to start my reading. I also thought I should actually let you know where I am in this book. I am just at the beginning of chapter 5, which is page 76. So that's how far into this one I am. Obviously, I'm not into this one at all or this one at all. So that's where we're starting with these books and I can let you know how I get on with like page count, etc. As uh, the 24 hours progresses, but yeah, like I am not really a late night person, so that's why I'm like in my bed right now. I just had a cup of tea and I'm watching booktube and just sort of trying to stay awake so that I can like 
get a good start on these reading sprints at midnight and I will come back to you then. Three, two, one, let's get started. <laughs> for me which means it is time to sleep and I will get up bright and early to continue reading. Feeling glam. I'm just brewing myself some water to make an iced coffee and then I'm gonna go sit outside and read my book for the readathon. Um it is I think gonna be like the last like clear day in Edinburgh. I say last, it wasn't clear yesterday, so it's just like a clear day amidst lots of rainy days and I need to take advantage of it because it is a Saturday, so like why not chill outside, do my reading for the readathon and um absorb some vitamin D. I will be taking my face mask off before then but uh, yeah just thought I would say hello because I've not uh, said hello yet this morning it's just been sort of like me like a slug in my bed reading. <laughs> got done running running another reading sprint over on the myth takes read twitter and I drank most of my iced coffee and managed to read another 20 pages which brings me to 40 pages in total of the way through crier's war and i am loving this this is such like a rich world it's a fantasy semi sci-fi because there's sort of like i mean they're not robots but like in my head, I'm kind of processing them as kind of robots. They're made out of alchemy, but they're not humans. Um, and they've taken over the world. And just like from the immediate get go, it just felt so immersive and rich. Like I mentioned, we followed two protagonists, one human and one otome. And um, obviously they're on very opposite sides, but they're gonna meet up at some point and I think fall in love, but I'm really enjoying it. So that's where I am with that one. And I don't think I actually officially said, but I finished this last night. You'll have seen that if you were on Twitter, but I read the entirety of this during the reading sprints last night because it is, I mean, not only is it a manga with pictures, but it's quite a short manga as well. So I managed to just like power through it and I enjoyed this one. Of course, it 
ended on a cliffhanger though, which was incredibly inconvenient because I don't have volume two. <laughs> um, but I really like the artwork style and I think it was good, like I said, to get me back into sort of manga in general because that's something I'm looking to do. But yeah, that's kind of how the readathon's going for me so far. Like I said, I would really love to read all of this and at the moment it's half 11 and the book's about 400 pages, so I've got like 360 left, but I've got the whole day with no other plans except to be in Karis's uh, quiz this evening. So otherwise I'm just reading and hopefully I'll be able to polish off. Okay, I'm back again because I realised something about filming vlogs makes me kind of forget what information you need and what information I've shared with you in the past, but I never really summarised this, did I? Now this is the girl from the other side, um, story and art by Nagabe, and this actually I feel like has overlapping themes with Cryer's War, but it's a sort of like paranormally fantasy manga set in a world that is divided to the inside and the outside because everyone on the outside has been cursed with darkness which turns them in to these kind of beasts on the front here but we follow both this beast and this little girl called Shiva who live together but they can't touch because if she touches him she'll be cursed and she doesn't understand um well really like what why there's such a divide in her people and so it's a mixture of like very dark but also super light and I really enjoy that combination plus in terms of the make your myth taker readathon this would fulfill a book with a non-human protagonist because one of them is this guy here who's not a human uh it's, it literally says on the back uh, this is a story of two people one human one inhuman so there we go. Fulfilled finally that first task and thankfully for me the rules of the readathon got relaxed so you are allowed to now read um, the books in whatever order you wanted and swap out things on your TBR so I've completed that first challenge. I've also completed um, what was technically the third challenge which was to read the highest rated book on my TBR which was Unicorn by Amru al I, I didn't read this obviously during this readathon, I read it earlier in the month, it was a non-fiction book that I listened to an audiobook, 5 out of 5 stars, love that but you'll hear more about it in my wrap up. However that means I'm halfway through because there are 4 challenges to complete in order to become a goddess which is my goal um, and I read this as well as Unicorn. This will fulfill challenge number two which is to read a book with a foiled cover and then challenge number three was to read a book from your TBR when you randomise it so like randomly pick a book from your TBR and I did during my video where I announced my TBR pick Tender Morsels however I'm gonna see because I really want to complete the challenges and Tender Morsels is quite a big book so basically depending on what I can read today I am debating whether to re-randomize my TBR and see if I pull out something shorter <laughs> um, I don't know if that counts as cheating but that's kind of where we're at I don't know if that will be something I update you on in this vlog though it might be something I update you in my end of month reading wrap up but for now I feel quite proud of myself that I read an entire manga and I'm now about 50 pages into Cryer's War. So I just got done hosting the uh, live stream reading over on Instagram with Ashley basically where you like sit and read together with other people whilst they're watching and that was really great I managed to get to page 100 in my book which means I'm a quarter of the way through because it's about 400 pages and that does mean I've still got 300 if I want to finish it today although it's not four yet it's like half three at the moment so that is a long long period in the day and like I said the only other thing I'm doing is the quiz this evening so I've got before and afterwards although I'll maybe watch an episode of tv with my mum which is what we usually do um but Regardless of whether I finish it or not, I just want to say, loving this, this is so, 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 so good. It is so readable, but like, well written. It's, it's very atmospheric, absorbing writing, but it just flows so easily that you zoom through it. Um, and I'm so intrigued by the characters and I have high hopes for um, potential like friendships and relationships they might develop with one another. So all round, just, just loving it, it's great.
I yeah. hate myself. I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna exit the broadcast. Ah! Got six and a half. Woo, six. woo! It's fine. I so I just finished up participating in Keris's uh, fandom quiz and I got 9 out of 11 on Dot Who, which I didn't think was too shabby given that um, there is a period in uh, <coughs> Matt Smith uh, when <laughs> I just kind of lost interest. Um, but I am on 170 in Cryer's War, which isn't quite as far as I hope to be, but it's almost about to hit 9 o'clock and I'm running more reading sprints on... Twitter plus I do have three more hours because I'm staying up till midnight so like I don't think I'm gonna finish it but I feel like I, I could could get maybe to page 300 if I really read solidly from now on I'm definitely gonna pass 250 but if I could get to 300 I'd be in awe because then I could totally just read the last 100 pages tomorrow and that's still pretty quick for a 400 page book for me so yeah still loving it Still super intrigued, and I'm gonna like crack on with this. Seriously, what? <laughs> I just passed the halfway point in this book, and literally at the halfway point, something happens that just blows your mind. Like, I was not prepared for the piece of information that just came to light at that halfway point. What? What, what, what? Um, I still have an hour and a half before midnight and we're currently doing like an hour long reading sprint which I guess you might describe as more of a um, endurance run or jog <laughs> um, but I'm going to crack on with this but now I feel like I've gone from thinking well I may finish it tomorrow to I don't think I can sleep without finishing this book so we will see. Midnight has come and I've done it I've passed 300 pages, but that still leaves me 100 pages to read, and I do not have the capacity to stay up any later. As much as I desperately want to know what's going to happen, I'm just going to have to find out in the morning with my coffee. So, I guess, all in all, I've read 480 pages today, as my manga was 180 pages, but obviously those were illustrated. Um... I think that's less than what I read during my last 24 hour reading vlog but I'm really pleased with what I read because um, I focused more on one big book um, than I did before. I don't know, it's, it's like one of those things. I don't think I'm consistent with the speed I read at. I find it really, really difficult to sit and read for half, more than half an hour at a time. And I'm just someone who's very easily distracted and likes to move around and do a lot of different things. So, um, I can't like I just can't sit and just stare at a book for two hours. I have to like do other little bits and pieces in between, which is why audiobooks are good for me because at least I can take my book with me. But I'm loving this. If you haven't gathered already, what I've read for this reading vlog has been fantastic, and I really enjoyed participating in so many reading sprints with everyone. On Twitter, it was so nice to be so engaged with everybody else reading through the readathon. So it's been a lot of fun, and hopefully, once I finish this, I will be able to read a fourth book and complete my goddess path for the Myth Takes Read readathon. Now, of course, everything I've mentioned in this video will be linked down below, including other booktubers I've mentioned and the Myth Take Reads book club in general, as well as the books I have discussed. But yeah. Um, I'm gonna go now because I am about to fall asleep on my iPhone. One quick thing I did actually want to mention before I forget in my haze of sleepiness is that the little opening dedication at this beginning of this book made me so happy so I thought I would just end the video here which is for the queer readers you deserve every adventure. <laughs>